My name's Ben, and I'm a victim. I've been taken advantage of. How so, I hear you say? Well, as a YouTuber, it comes with one of a few perks. I'm offered products to do reviews on. These products I mostly turn down because they don't fit my needs or I don't believe in them. The other week I was offered a laser, but I already have a laser engraver. I don't need another one. But this one's really powerful and you can engrave on steel and cut wood and do colour etching. So I replied to the email with... Stop it! You had me at laser! Powerful freaking laser for sharks with freaking laser beams! Let's go! Okay, so before I get started assembling this, I want you to understand that this review is going to be different to the other reviews on this product. I have had a look at some of the other reviews on YouTube and they are done by people who seem to know what they're talking about. I don't know anything about lasers. I've had another one for two or three months and yeah, I can do a little bit with it, but I haven't got a clue. So I'm going to be coming to you from the point of an amateur. Can an amateur go out, spend this money on a laser and make it do things for them? So in the box, you've got the structure itself, the laser itself. You get some boxes, I've got user manuals there, and then this, and I do like the packaging, to be honest, is a box of consumables. Now, what do we mean by consumables? Well, you've got little bits to help you, but you've also got a sheet of acrylic there for engraving onto, sheets of thin plastic there to engrave onto, or they might be something else. And then you also get a sheet of plywood to engrave onto. But not just engrave. Algo Laser claim that this can cut through one millimeter steel and can cut through up to 20 millimeters of oak. I'm gonna put it to the test. Also, you get this. I really like this as well. Nice little toolbox with all of the screws, accessories, and all of the bits and bobs, but someone like me, somewhere safe to keep them. Of course, you get a little cute miniature brush. The other thing you get is this tiny little box with what can only be described as, as rubber things. And then on top of that, in a separate box, I was sent the air pump. Now, this is why I said this video is designed for amateurs looking for their first laser. I don't know what an air pump is. I know it should pump air. What's that got to do with lasering? And last but not least, I mean, you probably haven't noticed on the table because they're on my face. You get some cool glasses. These ones are orange. And I must say, if they block out the laser light, they are way easier to see through than some of the other glasses on the market for working with lasers. I like them. So we are all assembled. All in all, just over 20 minutes, and even I didn't make a mistake on this one. One of the reasons why no mistakes were made was because it's all quite straightforward. Everything slots together and then it goes in with screws, and there's only really one type of screw to use. Um, the thing that made it really easy is the way the laser moves across the dimensions is it has um, little rubber belts, like almost like cam belts, that it runs across. Now, in a lot of lasers, you have to put those on yourself. You have to fasten them, pin them down, figure out the tension. This They're already assembled. The only thing you have to do is you tighten the um, screw there and it changes the tension. So that means that you then get all of these movements without having to install it yourself. In terms of looks, it's painted black with red bits on. Nothing screams, I'm here to take over the world more than that. The best thing I've found about this whole machine so far, two best things. So the laser has three main parts to it. The housing fits onto this bracket here. And what I love is this quick release. So basically, 
you adjust the height of the laser, you get it where you want, and it's got that quick release lever there. That's amazing because there's no little bolts or nuts to fiddle around with. The other thing I like is that the guard that goes on and off is magnetic, so it just pulls on. Okay, so how do you change the height of the laser for different materials, different thicknesses? Well, that's really easy as well. You simply press this down, and just at the bottom there is a little bit of metal that sticks out. Now that's your depth, so you drop down to where you want, rest it, pull your locking lever up, press the button, and you're good to go. No screws, no bolts, no faffing, no finding a spacer block that you've lost in the garage already. Spot on. Another feature is the air pump. Now I didn't really know what this was for, but it is literally as it sounds, it's for pumping air. So this thing here connects to this thing here and you can turn it on. That's on its lowest setting. If you're doing big engraving projects or cutting, then you can turn it all the way up to max which is actually still quite quiet. Now what happens is this is the uh, air compressor pumps all the way around this tube, which is really long, through here, up through the arm, and then there is a um, little nozzle on the inside of the laser housing. So as you are cutting, as you are engraving, then what it does is it pushes all the dust, the debris, the soot, everything away to get rid of those scorch marks that you often get. But anyway, we're forgetting the absolute best feature of this laser so far. You need a key to operate it. You know, as if you're a super villain with a laser trying to take over the world. Watch this. That goes on. I mean, I can't tell you how exciting that is. You turn a key and press a button as if you're about to blow up a submarine in some kind of supervillain movie. Unbelievable. Anything starts going wrong, you hit your emergency stop. This light will flash red and yellow, and then to disengage the emergency stop, you have to twist it, and you get a little bit of sound feedback. If you're a weekend warrior like me, you might not realise that you also need separate software to do your designing for whatever you want the laser to do. In this video, you'll see me using a program called Lightburn, just to clear up any questions. Lightburn is paid software, but there are free alternatives out there. For cutting, you are also gonna need a honeycomb mat like you can see me using in the video. Mine is tiny. However, if you're one of the first 300 people to order one of these lasers, you get a free 400 by 400 mil honeycomb mat included with the laser. Right, that took, I think about two minutes 30, it went off the screen before I could look. Let me show you what this turns out like. Oh, look, a really clean and crisp hole. Oh, another really clean and crisp hole. Just made myself a little key ring in two minutes and 30 seconds. And honestly, once you've got that logo, that vector shape, which is really easy to do in Lightburn, but that's its whole entity. This, it, it blows my mind. Right, where's my little brush? I've lost my brush. I need to brush it off. Oh, I can't even brush it off. I don't know where I put the brush. But a key ring, cut out, and it took seconds. I am very, 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 very impressed with this beast. One thing that I might have mentioned it in the voiceover, I don't know, but one thing I absolutely love is it is literally plug and play. There's no setting up. Whatever they've done on their end of things with the, it's got a little motherboard in here, which is absolutely top end. It's the motherboard that allows the laser to be so intelligent. The motherboard, when you connect it to your computer, don't need to do anything. Immediately sorts itself out, sorts the drivers out. You plug it into Lightburn, you scan on Lightburn, and it does all of the settings for you. I didn't have to do anything. And the best thing, the best thing, is that air pump that blows all of the dust and the smoke and the debris out of the way. That works on its own. You just plug it into Lightburn. If it's cutting, 
the pump turns up. If it's just engraving, the pump turns down. For an idiot like this, plug and play is the way to go. I'm going to carry on playing. The reason I am so excited about this laser is several things. First thing is the speed of it. I cannot tell you how quickly that laser moves. When you are engraving, it moves at 400 millimeters a second. The second feature that really impresses is when it comes to engraving, or more importantly, cutting, is that it has some COS second generation y laser y thing. I've been sent the specs, but the way I understand it is that most lasers cut with a rectangular pattern, and because of that, you get jagged edges. With this one, it cuts in a perfect square, which means everything's cleaner and crisper, and I will show you the results at the end of this, because it blew my mind how clean and accurate it was. So that's the second project just finished. Well, the second one that I've shown you, I've been playing with this little bad boy for quite a few hours. It is very much tea time. The way I understand the uh, whole COS fancy laser 22 watt power in this, and this is simple terms for me more than you, most lasers, when they cut, they cut in a rectangle. The Where the laser hits the surface, it's a rectangle. That's why you get almost jagged burns and jagged cuts. Magic wizardry and voodoo in this means that it hits it in a square, a very minute square, which means you should get cleaner cuts. But this was the absolute ultimate test. I'm going to try and be very, very careful while I take it out here because I want you to see close up how accurate this is. I'll bring you in. So I'm gonna zoom right in. Now each jigsaw piece is actually two cuts. And I did that on light burn so that everything would slot together without having to press it. But look how minute those cuts are. Now, before I show you the final product, let me just turn off the world. <laughs> I love that there's a key. So it's all very well me banging on about lasers and squares and rectangles, but the proof is in the pudding. <sighs> Even though this is cut out, I really want it to lift off in one piece. Let's see if I can slide it off. And if you want proof about how accurate this laser is, look at that. Those segments, I haven't got any calipers, but I'm telling you now, those segments are less than a millimeter in width. Look at it wobble. Ah, see, it snaps, it's so fine. And I'm left with the jigsaw to put together. I never was very good at jigsaws. I haven't even made this complicated, but I think you're supposed to find the corners. Nope. Oh, God. So would I buy one? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Number one, it's a laser. Laser. Number two, it runs in the background. And that's not something that I've ever had the luxury of before. So this took 12 minutes to create this little jigsaw puzzle. And while that was running, I was over applying Danish oil to a project. Now it's got flame detectors and it senses the smoke and adjusts the pump and everything like that. But for safety, you don't want to leave it on its own. But this was running over here while I was doing stuff over there. It's just, it blows my mind technology. And we are in a weird place now where something like this is acceptable or accessible to a fool like me. Anyway, there are currently deals on this. 
check the description down below. There'll be more details down there. There's more down there than I can give you all now in the video because it's probably running long. I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to thank you so much. And I'm going to make my jigsaw puzzle. I'm going to try and make my jigsaw puzzle. Oh, that's a middle piece. In the next video, I'm going to be having a bit more of a play with this laser. I've got a plan for a new shop sign and I want to test it out. It's a project I've had in mind for a while and I was going to do it with a palm router. But now I've got this. Psh. Anyway, check out the next video if you want to see what I do with this laser and how I do it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.